The CBC reports the opinion of Tim Querengesser that newly independent Senator Lynn Bayek is sadly typical of Canadians. He writes in a recent opinion piece that her appearance of being well-intentioned and hard-working reminds him of Stephen Harper's quip about old-stock Canadians during the last election campaign. For the edification of those who may not speak English as a first language, a quip is a taunting remark, quibble, or curious oddity. Senator Bayek first courted controversy in March of last year, when she suggested that the findings of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission with regard to the residential school system for Aboriginal children had failed to acknowledge the good intentions of the religious teachers there employed. As expressed by NDP MP Romeo Saganash, this was akin to defending Adolf Hitler's actions against the Jews in the Second World War. Some 6,000 children are thought to have died while in care, from malnourishment and disease. In September, Bayek wrote an open letter suggesting the First Nations people integrate into Canadian society. None of us are leaving, so let's stop the guilt and blame and find a way to live together and share, she wrote. All Canadians are then free to preserve their cultures in their own communities, on their own time, with their own dime. Larry Smith, the Conservative leader in the Senate, said at the time that Bayek's personal opinions do not reflect the positions of the larger caucus. In response to posting roughly 100 letters of support to her Senate website, Bayek has now been removed from the Conservative caucus. The senator's son, a city councillor in Dryden, Ontario, has suggested that a majority of Canadians agree with her statements. Tim Querengesser thinks so too, but thinks that's no excuse for the views to be aired. Joanne wrote the awful opinion that Indigenous groups are inventing a cash grab, while Roger makes the tired argument that Bayek should not be condemned for her statements. Nick Bayek, meanwhile, echoes his mother's good intentions mantra. A mantra is a mystical formula of invocation. Used in a sentence, diversity has become our multicultural mantra. <laughs>